today we're going to take a look at 3 plus 2 axis programming and work on C. To do 3 plus 2 axis programming, you basically just do 3 axis programming to a view. So first, let's take a look at how simple 3 axis programming is. So to create a 3 axis cutter path, I can simply right click on my part and I can say new toolpath. I can pick then the type of cutter path I wish to use and you get one parameter page. Unlike other systems which require you to enter data on multiple pages, where can see is very simple with one parameter page. And I can enter the data that I need, tool shape, size, speeds, feeds, step overs, etc. Or I can just go to my cutter library and bring in my cutter and it can bring that information in for me. Once calculated, the cutter path looks like this. We used a short tool relative to the part because that's recommended by tool manufacturers to get the most material out with the short tool. And then we're going to use a longer tool, or in this case, 3 plus 2 cutter pass, to do the remainder. The actual stock after running that rough and cutter path looks like this. And we can see that the holder had to step away from areas of the part to avoid collisions. So to create a 3 plus 2 axis cutter path, I basically just make a 3 axis cutter path to a view. A view is basically a plane in the software. So for example, if I want to create a 3 plus 2 axis rough and cutter path in this view, I could go to the view, create a view, and then do my new cutter path. Again, we'll do a roughing and re-roughing cutter path. Pick my tool from the library. I'm going to tell it to use specifically this view. And we're done. So I can have a 3 axis cutter path to the top, a 3 plus 2 axis cutter path to a back side, and another 3 plus 2 axis cutter path to the side and do multiple ones. So if I look at the stock models for those, I have my 3 axis cutter path, my 3 plus 2 where it cuts in the back, and then the other 3 plus 2 where it cuts from the side. One way to create a 3 plus 2 axis cutter path is to simply dynamically rotate the part on the screen and then use that as your view to do your 3 plus 2 axis cutter path. In this case I'm going to rotate it around the x axis and then I'm going to right click on the part and create my view. I'm going to go ahead and use that view for a new tool path. As you can see, work on C is very fast with the interface. I'm going to go ahead and execute that. Once finished, you can see the cutter path is using 3 plus 2 axis for that view that I had. So if we wanted to make a 3 plus 2 axis cutter path, perhaps on part of this, again, we just make a view and then a 3 axis cutter path. So maybe I want to use this face here. I can right click on a thing and I can say create a new view. I'm going to say from selection, OK. And now when I do my new tool path, I can use my cutter library, grab my cutter, pick the view, and we're done. When completed, that 3 axis cutter path looks like that. And that can be done for all the faces. Besides creating the view to a principal view such as X, Y, or Z, or by using a flat surface, I can also create a view dynamically, rotating on the screen. In this case, I'm going to load the tool and the machine, and then what I'm going to do is I can rotate this and notice it just flashed red there. That means that angle is not going to work for cutting in that situation. So maybe I'll flip that back. And once I have it where I want it, I create my view, then I create my three axis cutter path. So if you have a part with a lot of flat areas and you use flat surface finishing, we can automate that process to do the three plus two areas with flat surface finishing. Here, 
I have a three axis cutter path just on one flat area. What I'm going to do is right click on that cutter path and I'm going to say multiple flat surface machining. And then I can just pick in a window or at the mouse, notice it only grabs the flats. Right click to accept. It makes my multiple views and my multiple 3 plus 2 axes cutter paths and I simply execute that and I use the parallel processing available within WorkNC to calculate these very quickly. Once finished calculating, we can look at all those 3 plus 2 axis flat surface finishing cutter paths and get the majority of this part cut very quickly and very efficiently. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out our other videos at www.workonc.com.